welcome I'm Maddie and welcome to my channel if you have not yet became an official glam star all that you have to do is hit that subscribe button in order to become one and let's go ahead and get right into this video so in today's video I'm going to be talking about shapewear and how it works to improve the body y'all know that I am a shapewear connoisseur and a body connoisseur in general if you are here on my channel frequently I love all things about improving the body and making your body happier healthier and just getting the overall shape that you may have always desired to have so without further ado let me share with you all some amazing information about shapewear whether you are new to shapewear and or you have a closet full of it <laughs> like myself it's helpful to learn how these garments work. Quality shapewear is set apart from the cheap off the rack shapewear, okay? Like the shapewear that you can get from Walmart, yeah. That's a different kind of shapewear. That isn't quality shapewear. But the shapewear that I will be speaking about in today's video is all quality shapewear. And since you are watching this video, today is your lucky day, okay? I'm gonna leave some of my favorite shapewear listed down below for you guys that are looking for quality shapewear pieces. Let's be clear about a couple of things. Shapewear is not magical and will not change your body type or make it look like you've lost a ton of weight. But what it can do is enhance any body type, slim your figure, create curves, and control any problem areas so that you can look your most flattering any day of the week. It's important to educate yourself on how shapewear works so that you know what to look for. And since you're watching this video, well, that's exactly what you're doing. Here's the scoop behind how shapewear works and how you can find the best fit for you. First, let's talk about shapewear construction. Shapewear is knitted together in pieces, designed to enhance curves in the perfect places and tuck extra curves in other places. Now the material used on your shapewear is very important. Latex and spandex create a very strong hold, which is something that you will find pretty much in girdles, also in waist trainers. Y'all know about the latex waist trainers, okay? In comparison, hosiery style, seamless knitting tends to flatten. While this can be desirable in some cases, most of the time you will have a better all over effect with a garment constructed in pieces such as latex. Now another thing that I'd like to mention about shapewear is the fit of your shapewear definitely does matter. If you've ever experienced a muffin top effect above or below your shapewear, it is not the piece for you. Some women mistakenly believe that they will look more flattering in a smaller size, which is not the case. It is extremely important to wear a garment that fits correctly in order to achieve the most flattering results. Now where does all of this extra weight go that your waist trainer or your shapewear is reshaping? When it fits properly, shapewear reshapes the softer parts of your body. So you will have curves in the more desirable places. Fat can be compressed against the firmer muscles, such as those in your abdomen and legs. Your waistline and or thighs will seem to shrink, while areas like your bust and your rear will be enhanced. Now here's the proper shapewear to get according to your body type. Every body type is going to have to target different areas. So when it comes to the ideal shapewear for your body type, it is definitely something to look into like, hey, what is my body type and what will be the proper shapewear for me? First, we're going to start with the round figure. Your main objective with shapewear is to slim and define your waistline. I recommend a shaping penny or a waist cincher to help create more curves. You may also benefit from a bodysuit or body shapewear apparel that bring in the waist. Next up we have the straight figure. When choosing shapewear, your main focus is going to be defining your waist and creating more curves, as well as smoothing your whole figure. Must have items in your wardrobe include waist cinchers, slips, minimizers, and high-waisted shaping panties. Now for my 
ladies that are curvy on the bottom, like myself. Now, if you already are naturally curvaceous, your focus should be smoothing your curves and emphasizing that inviolable waistline. Try some control slips or some high-waisted shorts. If you are hourglass, you have the shape that everybody wants, okay? So your main priority is to make your curves smooth. A wide variety of shapewear will look good on your body type. You might enjoy the control that you get from high-waisted shaping panties, shaping slips, and body suits. And if you are top heavy, your objective here is to find balance. You might want to try out anything that enhances your rear, like shaping panties and leggings that will balance your curves. One of the biggest things that I can recommend and say about shapewear is definitely make sure that you have your proper size. For myself, I am a little bit in between being curvy on the bottom and sort of hourglass in a sense, all depending on which day you catch me on. For me, one of my favorite things is any type of girdles that help to smooth out the bottom area and that help to give me an even more curvaceous shape. These are just a few things that I've studied and figured out due to the different types of body shapes that I've seen and due to what I see that looks best on those particular body shapes. And if you have one of these particular body shapes, these are the particular areas that you want to target. A lot of people always tell me that they're confused about what type of shape where to get, but I hope that you definitely find this video helpful. And if you are sure of what exact body shape that you have you should have no problems choosing shapewear from here on out now another thing that I can say is definitely take your measurements before purchasing any shapewear that way you can make sure that you have your proper size so for me my measurements are 36 24 and 42 on the bottom so I definitely make sure that on the bottom I'll typically get something like a medium I know that I can't wear a you know a small but I'll typically pick out something like a medium and then for my waist I'll typically get my waist trainers in a small um, and then for the top typically it is a 36 C so definitely make sure that you're taking your measurements before you purchase any shapewear that way you won't have any mishaps especially if you are purchasing online and before I leave this video I'm not gonna leave you all hanging let me share with you all my glam star of the day I want to thank you so much for your lovely comment and thank you for watching and supporting me and if you are looking to be featured in my next video, all that you have to do is leave a comment down below. Make sure that your post notifications are turned on because when you're first to comment, that boosts your chances of being featured in my next video. And before I leave out of here, I just want to say that you are beautiful no matter what shape or size that you are. It's okay to want to improve your body or to change your shape slightly, but I definitely want to make sure that everyone knows that they are beautiful exactly the way that they are. And that is it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't have anything else to comment down below, please comment what you are and that is a star. Always remember to keep glamming and I will see you all in my next next video. Bye!